right, you're watching On The Spot with me, Sharon, and today we are in Seattle, Washington, and we are in Pike Place Market, and I found some two visitors out here. Hello. Hello. So where are you guys from? Um, uh, Ogden, Utah. All right, so what brings you to Seattle? We are here selling uh, our Chaparros tamales. Okay. We're a frozen tamale company. Okay. And we're based in Utah, and we're just trying to spread our product um, other places, like here in Washington. All right. So this television is actually for the Nepalese community in Nepal. Can you tell uh, briefly what a tamale is? A uh, tamale is um, cornmeal mm -hmm. wrapped in a corn husk, and in the middle is like a meat, uh -huh. uh, chicken, pork, beef, or uh -huh. bean and cheese. Uh -huh. And then it's wrapped, uh, wrapped really tightly, uh -huh. and then put in the steamer, uh, and then after it steams and cooks, it's uh -huh. ready. So uh, is it spicy? Because we, we in Nepalese like our food spicy. Yes, uh, it's got a spice to it. All, me all, all Mexican food has a little bit of a spice to it. So right. That yeah. sounds pretty good. So what brings you to Pike Place? Just to, uh, to promote your business or you want to see around? Well, we, we just came. Well, we thought we were coming to see a, a store, but then we yeah. just started like looking around and stuff So because right. we were interested. Yeah, isn't but, it vibrant and yeah, fun? It's, it's, it is yeah. fun. It's yeah. awesome. I love Beautiful. it. Well, thank you so much. You're on the spot with Sharon. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. You thank too. You. Thank you. All right. We are still in Pike Place Market here in Seattle, Washington. You're on the spot with me, Sharon. And I guess we found some very enthused uh, girls out here or visitors. Hello. Hi. Hi. So where are you girls from? Australia. Australia. Go Australia. All right. And what are your names? Raquel. Stacy. Hannah. All right, nice to meet you. So this is a show called On The Spot, going out to the Nepalese community over in Nepal and all over the world. What brings you to Pike Place Market? Oh, we're here with our tour group. Okay, and why did you choose Pike Place? Um, well, our tour group thought it was a good icon of Seattle, so mm -hmm. they chose for us to come here. Okay, what have you liked so far? The restaurants, or are you ready to shop? Um, I really like to shop and buy stuff. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> what about Seattle weather? You know, it's famous for its weather too. It's freezing. Yeah? Yeah, it, compared to Australia. Uh-huh. Is it warmer in Australia right now? Yeah, because it's summer. We oh. left and it was like 40 degrees Celsius. Uh-huh. So where else have you been besides the Pike Place Market? Um, we've been to the Space Needle. Okay. And we were in Los Angeles as well right beforehand. On. So you girls having fun? Yeah, yeah, lots of fun. All right. Okay, can you girls say on the spot with Sharon for me? On, on the, the spot, spot with Sharon. Sharon. Thank you girls. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. Bye bye. All right, we're walking in the Pike Place Market, and as you can see, there's fish stores and. Uh, just about everything, all the handicrafts, there's honey. This is a very uh, much of a tourist place and all these people just make their own handicrafts and all kinds of stuff, t-shirts, jerky, or in, we have in Sukuti in Nepali. And the flowers here are much cheaper, $10 is way cheaper than a grocery store flower bouquets. And just, um, you see that jewelry, sometimes you'll find jewelry from Nepal too. And all these cute tie-dye t-shirts, some more jewelry, and uh, these are hand-woven scarves, some paintings, and we see this um, nice gentleman here singing. And as you can see, unique handicrafts. So all those people behind those stalls and make their own um, crafts like this um, um, hat shop out here. The lady is basically knitting. And out here like magnets. So there are just a variety of things out here where people can shop and see these kids' clothing. And paintings and dishes. and leather stuff and fun hats and tie-dye out here and as I walked out of the Pike Place Market these are paintings uh, a local artist has painted all these and when I walk out of the Pike Place you will see again the Puget Sound and the Elliott Bay and across we were in Alki Beach which I showed too so that's where we are, and you're still in Pike Place Market. Hey, 
think this is the oldest Starbucks. I'm in the first. Hello, you're on the spot with me, Sharon, and we are in Seattle, Washington. And we are standing right in front of the first Starbucks coffee store. And we got a visitor here. Hello. Hello. Uh, where are you visiting from? Hawaii. Hawaii. And what makes you uh, come to Pike Place Market? Uh, for the first Starbucks, the original store. Are you a coffee fanatic? I like coffee. <laughs> you like coffee. Okay. And also, what else do you like about Pike Place? It's got a lot of different things here to purchase. Okay, and have you done a lot of shopping and spending a lot of your dollars? We just started shop coming here. Okay, so you are yet to blow your dollars yet? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and I think it's a very good day. You've landed, and most of the time it rains here. Thank you so much, and what was your good name? Lanel. Lanel, how do you say thank you in Hawaii? Mahalo. Mahalo. Thank you. All right, you are here in Pipe Place Market in Seattle, Washington. You're watching On the Spot with me, Sharon, brought to you by YT Mall Television. And this is a small little park when you come out of the Pipe Place Market. You see all the downtown skyscrapers out there. Uh, we have just, uh, we're still in the Pike Place, but across from the street, this is a little park where you see a musician, he's playing his saxophone. You see a guy out there with a skateboard and a guy just taking a nap. And then behind you will see all the Puget Sound, the arm of the Pacific Ocean, the Olympic Mountain Range, the Alki Beach is right across where we have showed you too. And there's that big uh, naval boat out there. And it's a nice day today. Um, due to the January season being uh, not much active, there's less people, otherwise this place gets very crowded. And as you can see behind me is the downtown skyline. This is downtown Seattle and far back, if you zoom in, you'll see the Mount Rainier too. Uh, this is one of the best places in the United States, I feel. I have yet to see more, but a very good place if you are from Nepal and you love the mountains and the Himalayas. You got to be in Seattle to enjoy the mountains and the good weather and the ocean and some good music. Hello, hi, namaste. You're with me, Sharon, watching On The Spot, brought to you by YTML Television. And today we are in Seattle, Washington. And you might be thinking, what the hell am I doing in a graveyard? Well, this is no ordinary cemetery and a graveyard, but the resting place of Bruce Lee, world-famous martial arts instructor, a philosopher, film director. He was born on November 27, 1940, and he passed away on July 20, 1973. He was a very um, uh, world-famous icon, very influential man that has um, it made an impact to a lot of people who like martial arts and just even random uh, people. Just to come here and pay homage to his resting place is an honor and I myself feel uh, good and blessed that I'm standing right in front of this man who had so much of ambition. And not only is Bruce Lee's grave here, but his son Brandon Bruce Lee too, who was born on February 1st, 1965 and passed away in March 31st of 1993. The saddest part of Bruce Lee's son's death is that he passed away during the filming of The Crow where a prop gun which was supposed not to have real bullets accidentally had a bullet and it went and shot Bruce Lee's only son out here. So I'm in this very uh, sad kind of place but yet honored to be here standing in front of the grave of Bruce Lee and uh, Brandon Bruce Lee and you are in Lakeview Cemetery here in Seattle, Washington. All right, we are standing in front of the grave uh, site of Bruce Lee and his son Brandon Lee here in uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, this is the Lakeview Cemetery. And you would think like there will be lots of people. But today is kind of a chilled out day here in Seattle. And we do have some, I think, martial arts friend. Hello. Hello. What's up? Hey, Hannah. <laughs> Hello. All right, so what brings you here today? We just come here to see Bruce Lee's grave, who's a, you know, one of the founding fathers of all the martial arts and a way of living. All right, and how about you guys? Do you guys like to kick ass in martial arts? I like martial arts. It's cool. I used to love it when I was young. I used to watch all the Bruce Lee movies. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about him? Do you, do you feel sad when you come to his grave uh, site? It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know, but I know he lived a good life, so you know. Yeah. 
You feel he lived a full circle? I think he did. It yeah. was his time to go, so. Yeah. yeah. So this uh, television, uh, this uh, episode is for a Nepalese um, uh, audience in Nepal and in other parts of the world, Nepalese spread around. Have you been to Nepal? Yeah, I spent uh, three months in Nepal walking around Freak Street, Dalgili, <laughs> around Johnson, yeah. all around the trail, yeah, did the Dalgili circuit. Uh-huh. Oh my God, can you believe it? I guess Bruce Lee put us all together out here. He's a gentleman, he's been to Nepal. Any word you can say in Nepali? Yeah, namaste. All right, we got a namaste from him. Thank you so much, guys, and thanks for being on the spot. Yeah, thank you too. Thank all right, you. have a good day.